Messy Cody back again with another quick tutorial and devlog as I'm making the menu UI for my game, Way of the Imploding Fist. It's a silly little game that we're making as our one of our 10 games in 2020. So sit back, enjoy, you're going to find out how you make this little menu and I'll see you all in a second. Hi everyone, as I'm making this video, we are in self-isolation and it's a weekend. The wind is rattling, I can even hear my letterbox being shuddered just as we speak. And we just heard the sad news of the passing of the late great Kenny Rogers. So if I could, I would love to put some Kenny Rogers music in the background of these videos. But you know what? Let's not even care about copyright claim, let's just do it. So first things into Unity here, I'm playing about with this thread we found, and it's for blurries. Now this guy, Sissian, made this nice free shader for blurring, and this nice thread here where people are talking about it. And other people have dropped in and also added changes and stuff. So we're using his shader, and we're also using this from Vinny PC as well. I've put together a demo scene. I've added post-processing. It's got music. It's got fog. It looks lovely. Show you what it is. See? Doesn't it look pretty? And we're going to put our UI over this. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with our UI. I'm going to go into PowerPoint. And uh, if I hang on a second, I've got to go and click on that slideshow. Here we go. This is what we're going to be making. So we're going to make a frosted, like, like Frozen, Disney's Frozen. We're going to have some buttons here, logo up here, lovely jubbly. It's all going to look beautiful. Okay, so here we are. Let's go straight in. Let's bang it through. We're going to go UI, we're going to add a canvas on here, and we're going to go scale with screen size. It's going to be 1920 by 1080, make sure match with width height. And now we're going to go over here and we're going to chuck in some things. So we're going to go UI, panel, and we're going to say panel is panel menu UI. And we're going to over here, stick it over on the right hand side, holding down. Uh, control shift all oh, good pop it over there and you know what we're going to make it go on scale for the width for the for the height of the page of the screen rather and we're going to change our width to be a thousand as we said in our powerpoint picture and this is area pivot saying one which means it's on this side zero will be over here and 0.5 just means it's in the middle all right we're going to leave this image on here for now just so we can see what we're doing and we're going to make another panel inside that one and that's going to be this side, I'm going to do one that's that side. So, again, stick it over here, and I'm going to make this one a 500, and I'm going to get rid of this background picture, and we're going to basically let's duplicate it and stick it on the other side over here. Lovely, jubbly, and I'm going to put this one on the top. This one's going to be um, ice. And this one is going to be background. Back grand. Grand. Lovely. Now we're just going to go over to our pictures. We've got our UI picture. And we're going to chuck in the ice here. And now we've got our icy icy. And we've got our blurs over here. So I'm just going to duplicate that. Stick it at the top. I'm going to rename this one blur. Ice, gonna duplicate this one, rename this one blur background, and on these two, we're gonna go to our blur material and drop it in here, and now it'll make things nice and blurry. And we grab these two, just gonna change the color of it to be a nice, dark, mysterious, bluey kind of color pretty lovely not bad so far if I do say so myself so now we need to make some more panels because I love panels panels are great panel holds things together so this one over here is going to be called menu lovely uh, we love our menu and we're gonna in our menu we're gonna make uh, 500 and it's gonna be over here like the other one was. Here we go. And we don't need this. Oh, goodbye. 
and inside here we're going to make, oh you guessed it, another panel because we're just crazy for panels. And we're going to make another panel, just going to duplicate that one. And this one's actually going to be called panel and this one is going to be called logo, although I could have just renamed bottom one and dragged it over to the top. Uh, never mind, hey, it's all fun and games. And we're going to change the logo to be the logo. So let's jog in the logo. Look how big it is. And the bottom one here, we're going to be chucking in some buttons. We'll do that in a second. So if we pop back to the menu, we're going to, over here, add a component. And we're going to look for um, vertical layout group. There we go. And it all just disappeared. And we're like, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Don't worry about that. And I'll use the child's height. So we're going to set those heights. Uh, don't force expand the height. We're going to force expand. Uh, we're going to control the width and force expand the width. Okie dokie. And if we pop back over here, we're going to say our height was supposed to be. And where's our PowerPoint? Where's our PowerPoint? Um, it's 412. And the other one, the panel was six hundred and uh sixty eight then if it's four hundred and twelve so looking good looking good indeed if we go back over here I'm just gonna make that whoosh all the way over there now we've got our logo we've got our panel and our panel's called panel and over here we've got our vertical layout group which controls it and you know what we need to do over here on the menu I gonna click here and we're gonna click on uh canvas group I'm gonna make here a canvas group gonna put that at the top because it's nice and pretty I want you go to the top come on drag you in there you go that's better so we've got a canvas group so that way we can later later feed in and out of it lovely the back over here into the panel we've got some lovely prefabs from this dark UI kit we've got some buttons and a main button now I've just grabbed it uh, before and I chucked it in my prefabs folder over here, main button. I'm going to chuck that in as well. And we're going to go boom. And let's just duplicate it uh, a lot. And now in here, we're going to click vertical layout group again. And now we've got a vertical layout group. So I use the child's height, right? Control the width. And let's add some space some padding either side and you know what down the bottom just gonna add a little bit of padding and spacing between them that looks good uh, maybe 80 that's even better and if we pop back over here to the menu we need to put a bit of padding we said that we we're gonna have it smaller and in the PowerPoint we had it as 47 because it looked quite good do you know what I'm just gonna make it as 80 might be even oh it's a bit aggressive 70 that looks good. See what we forgot? We forgot to remove the unneeded panels. So remove that panel. We don't need that panel anymore. And remove the panel from the menu UI. We don't need that panel anymore. That's better. Now, that was silly. So we've got a menu UI. We don't need that silly panel. We've got, uh, we don't need the same image either. We've got this canvas group on there. We've got our blurry ice, which is using our blurred mask UI. And we've got our ice, which has got our image on there. And it's got a nice blue. We've got a blur for the background. Again, blur mask UI. And we've got our bird. We've got a background just on the color here. And then we've got a menu, which is 500 width. It's got some nice panning on the right hand side just to bring it off at the end. And we've got inside there our logo. And we've got another panel which contains a load of buttons. And that panel itself has got some padding on it. Now we could add another canvas group onto this one, canvas group. And we can then control this here with this canvas group in its own animations as well. So we could even find an event that this comes in and then it brings in this menu. So all well and good gives us control of what we're gonna do. Let's click play. Dun, dun, dun. Don't like that, it just pops in and then disappears. Don't like that at all. So now we need to just add a bit of control. So I'm going to add another button in. And here we're going to select the middle ones and on the navigation. 
we're going to go and choose um, vertical and on the bottom one make sure that explicit is selected and we're going to drag in the one above it and we're going to have it on select up and on the top one making sure that explicit is selected we're going to drag the one that's underneath it on the button that says down and if we pop over to our event system you can just drag in the first selected as the first button in that menu and then we're going to click play and now well there he is and we can go up and down and select them not too keen on the uh the buttons effects and like you see these issues here when you mouse over it if it's already selected so what we're going to do is we're going to make our own button scripts we're going to make our own animations for these buttons uh, which i think would be a lot nicer than using these standard ones here and the ones that we got with the pack i like his images but the scripts uh, are a little bit fiddly for me to play about with and i want to do my own ones because i've got more control of them then so that will be another lovely video which we did one previously do you remember we did the videos for the buns for mux well same kind of thing that we're going to be doing here right let's finish off this menu and now let's add a component let's say animator boom and let's create ourselves a controller and let's create ourselves some animations let's go and click here messy animations you are i'm going to create right click and we're going to say animation controller we're going to say menu UI and here we're going to go and create an animation. I'm going to call this one fade in. Uh, menu fade in. How's that? And if we pop over here to the main menu, it's going to drag you in. Blip, and now he's in there. Just for, We're going to add like uh, events and conditions and things later, but for now we're just chucking it in. And if we go over to our main menu we can then throw our controller here lovely jubbly look at it it's all wonderful so we're going to just fade in this beautiful badger so if we go back over to animations and we see that it's got menu fade in selected click on that i'm going to click preview big red thing here and we're going to start off with a zero on our canvas point actually zero zero one on our canvas group and if I go over here to 10, I'm going to boom, copy and paste it in there. So we've got a bit of time here, but it's always going to be zero. And then all the way down here, I'm going to paste it in and it's going to be a one when it's over here. So now we're going to be feeding that in. Isn't that pretty? And you know what? Let's go over here and make sure that that is set to a naught point. 0.2 here so go boom, two and then up here but actually you know what? I'm going to be really cheeky and put my 0.2 about here it's going to fade in slow and then go bang all right let's stop recording that click save click play and see what happens ba -ba -bum. oh doesn't that look professional doesn't that look professional I think it does somewhat professional I have to say I'm not overly clean on these pre-made buttons there's too much stuff that's inherited I'm gonna just rip that out and put my own buttons in I'll tell you the truth it's gonna rip out these buttons put my own ones in and and then we'll be using those but I like his I like his splash it's got a nice splash to it so I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna just for the moment we're just going to change the text on them and say arcade mode and your arcade mode and over here you could be quick fight or quick oh hang on quick fight and open up this little badger this one's going to be also I don't know the fact we've got the highlight and the normals the separate thing magic but there you go this one's going to be multiplayer uh, this one can be settings and the last one can be quit there we go 
equipped. And you know what else we're going to do? Because we're crazy. Crazy! I'm just going to put in a UI um, image down at the bottom that has nothing on it just to pad it out. Arcade mode, quick fights, multiplayer and settings. And quit. That is our menu. Okay, now just before we're going to stop this video, let's just make some of these buttons do something. And if I go over to the main button, which we've got here, it's all of them are the main buttons. Like this. Boop, boop, beepity, boopity, beep. And the first one, I'm going to go to the button. And here, we're going to drag in some on clicks. Look at who got inherited to nothings. So let's drag in the loader object because hiding inside here is a script called screen manage or scene management rather and there is an open scene int and if I pop over here to my file and build settings you're gonna see we got <laughs> pardon me we've got a load of scenes and you can see that I've been trying to work out what I'm doing so here's like the old ones who are the dark UI ones that I was playing about with and uh, wasn't too happy with those actually you know what we're just gonna remove those seeing as we don't need them in there anymore and locations we're going to remove that because that's the old marvel versus capcom demo that i was making so here we've got our stages character selection castle or multiplayer so the castle uh is the fight but we want to when you do quick fight we'll go to character selection so that's one um and we'll have multiplayer as number three we could actually go to stage but i don't have more stages at the moment actually you know what Let's uh, add in our open scene and I'm going to leave that as number four so it doesn't mess up our ordering over here. And we're going to say that we are going to be going to zero for quick fight and three for multiplayer. So uh, if we go to our quick fight, I chose arcade mode by mistake. If we go load in here, let's delete this one, go function, scene management, open the scene chuck in the number and that was zero for the quick fight and uh actually you know it won't be that quick a fight if he has to pick a so you do number one and then multiplayer is the next one down again delete that other one and chuck in the loader and we're going to say scene management and we said it was number three didn't we three beep okie dokie let's click play and this is this is it. This is what we got up to. So, quick fight. Let's see what happens. It doesn't have the uh, the loading spinner here at the bottom. It should do, but we'll add that in later. And then we've gone to our character selection. So we can have a quick fight. There we go. That is, that is the first stage of us making our menu and our UI. So let's pause, or stop this video here. If you do like these videos, do click on that sub uh, button down below. It's free, doesn't cost you a penny. Click like, comment, and catch you next time that we're going to be finishing off this UI and actually finishing off this entire game. So if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.